We have main engines start. For 60 years, there's only been one way to reach space, on a rocket blasting straight up, and it's always expensive. Imagine instead just taking off from a runway and flying into orbit. Meet Skylon, a British design for a space plane. It hasn't yet been built, but the project has reached a crucial stage. The key is a completely new kind of motor, an ingenious concept for a jet engine and a rocket rolled into one. The engineers go through their checks. This has to work if the space plane is to have a chance of flying. Because of the high pressures involved in this revolutionary jet engine, everyone has to wear protection. It's designed to go five times the speed of sound. And when it's going that quickly, the flow of air becomes so intense it reaches a thousand degrees Celsius, which would normally melt everything inside. But this unique device cools the air to well below zero, which should make space travel easier. And the tests are now underway. Three, two, one, go. This is one of a series of experiments to check if the idea is viable. 10,000 RPM. This small band of engineers has worked with very little funding. So far, so good. And the designers are thinking big. It's like going to New York. You go down to an airport, you get on an aeroplane, and I mean, it's all pretty invisible. Getting into space will be like that with this type of technology. The Skylon is a long way from launching, but the European Space Agency checked it over and found nothing wrong. It may be something in the future, but where we stand today, looking at the technology, this, has, this should work. So it could fly? It could fly, yes. But billions of pounds are needed. Clever engineering isn't enough to make this British space dream a reality. David Chookman, BBC News, at Cullum in Oxfordshire.